This is Mr. O, and this is Creature Teacher. This is Creature Teacher by Sam Watkins. It was illustrated by David O'Connell and published by Capstone in 2015. It is about Jake Jones, a year five boy who lives with his mum, his dad, and his baby sister, Connie. Every day he attends his new school, which has lots of rules. 142 rules, in fact, which is almost as many as a Hong Kong public park. You know what I'm talking about. Let's go and have a look. Uh, anyway, one day his class teacher, Mr. Hyde, who is also new, turns into a very naughty and very rude little furry creature and starts wreaking havoc around town. Can Jake get Mr. Hyde back to normal in time for the Founders' celebration? Read Creature Teacher to find out. I like this book. I thought it was funny and easy to read. There's no particularly difficult words or difficult parts to understand in this. I also liked it, of course, because, you know, I'm a teacher. So reading about a teacher turning into a monster is uh, something that I can relate to. Well, actually, I can't directly relate to turning into a monster, but uh, I can relate to being a teacher. And that's what I liked. The other thing I liked is that clearly they need to turn the teacher back into Mr. Hyde, the teacher. Um, but they've got no idea how to do this. They have absolutely no clues. They try a few things, nothing really works. And let's just say that they have a little bit of good luck towards the end. Um, but I like that. It, it's not like you kind of already know how it's going to end and you're just kind of waiting for the characters to get there. You really don't know how they're going to figure it out. It's not obvious at all. I've only got one major negative about this book and it's kind of a silly one. Um, when you look at the creature in the pictures, he's kind of big. Like he, he comes up to at least you know, maybe chest height on most of the other characters who are, we guess, maybe nine or 10 or 11 years old. So it's a pretty big creature. Plus, he's still wearing the tie and glasses of Mr. Hyde. So, you know, this is not a small creature. This is a fairly big creature. And yet, they seem to fit him into quite a small bag. Um, he doesn't seem to weigh very much. Um, and even at one point he jumps on top of the curtain rail. And I'm just thinking, how's he doing that? That's gonna fall down. I mean, he must be pretty heavy. If you imagine anyway, I'm sure this is just something to do with the illustrator, the, the choices. Maybe nobody else cares about this, but you know, it's the kind of thing that I read about and then it makes me think and it kind of bugs me a little bit but just a little bit. <laughs> 